Rockport High School, Rockport Vikings, and your Swamp Scott Big Blue. Let's meet the starting lineups. First, the visiting Vikings. On left wing, number 25, Quinn Brady. At center, number seven, Ryan Meany. At right wing, number 44, Nielsen Wood. On defense, number six, Elijah Greenberg. At his defensive partner, number 17, Nick Noella. And in goal, number one, Luke Holmes. The Vikings are coached by Garrett Stevens. And now, the starting line for your Swamp Scott Big Blue. On left wing, number nine, Jackson Bartram. That's center, number 16, Derek Bayer. On right wing, number six, Will Roddy. On defense, number two, Quinn Hitchcock. His defensive partner, number 10, Jackson Rockwell. And your starting goalie, number 33, Don Papalardo. Your big blower are coached by Gino Fan and assisted by Mike Delicio and Ryan Donnelly. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and open your caps. You're playing the national anthem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on into the Richard H. Rocket Arena at Salem State. And thank you for joining us on Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics as we have an afternoon matinee between the Swamp Scott Big Blue and the visiting Rockport Vikings. My name is Dawson DeBerry, and I am joined by my partner, Josh Harriman. Josh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, Dawson. How about yourself? It feels like just not that long ago we were here for opening night for Swamp Scott against Beverly, where, the, which, shockingly, they have tied 2-2. Two to two. Both teams looking for their first win. Swamp Scott had a tie on opening night, as Josh just mentioned, and Rockport took the loss. Who will be playing shorthanded. They have an injured goalie and three suspended forwards. So it's junior Luke Holmes getting the start in net. And we are ready for puck drop and we are underway at the Rock. Quinn Hitchcock goes D to D with Jason Rothwell who has trouble with it had it got knocked off the puck going behind the net. And now settling for Ryan Meany. Meany makes a move around Fea. Hitchcock chips it, but Hudson Wood right there to collect the shot from the right point, blocked by Jackson Bartram, and now he takes it away. Roddy calling for the puck. Jackson gets it behind the net. Roddy in a battle, goes into the boards hard with Nick Nocella, and Nocella has the puck. Lost her, no icing. Now it's Meany, throws it through the slot, nobody home, this is Hardy throwing it through the slot again. The shot from the point tip, but a save made by Pavolardo, his first. Pavolardo had 35 saves in the season opener. Foster kicked it free. Now a two-on-one, potentially opening up. 
Oh, pass just a little bit too far for Roddy from Bartram. Roddy behind the net battling, trying to get it to Bartram, who now staples Hottie into the boards. And now Quinn Brady taking it up the ice. Fea knocks it to his defenseman, Frank Papalardo, just onto the ice for the first time. Gloucester was in the middle of a change. And the puck goes to the bench. Ryan Ferry comes out of the pack with it. The shot tipped wide and controlled by Aiden Clark. He attempts the back pass. Boa very first to so the puck, tipped it to the end boards. And it comes back to the left point for Papalardo, with, who makes a nice move to get around one guy. Now throws it into the corner. Tolosa chips in. Keeps it in. Freire keeps it in at the blue line, trying to get a shot towards target. And delayed off sides, makes Oliveri tag up. Grayson Minich with the puck on the left side. Goes one on one with Tolosa. His shot is blocked by Tolosa. Puck not cleared, but the shot right into the waiting hand of Bo Oliveri. Looking for the diagonal pass for Balchenkov. Nobody there. Grayson Minich again taking it up the left side and Gloucester offsides as Rainier was in the zone. Just getting underway here at the Rock 0-0 game. Dawson, you know it's gonna be a great game when both when you see right off the bat, both teams doing great passing. Definitely great heavy hit so far. First line right back out there for the big blue. Rothwell to Hitchcock. Back to Rothwell. A good breakout as now Roddy will get the clean exit. Has Bartram on his left, chips it down in deep. First of the puck is Roddy as he hustled to get there, but it jumped on him and Meany controls it. Puck came free in the slot and deflected to the boards. Diagonal pass for Meany, goes tape to tape. Meany up the right side against Hitchcock. Left the puck behind him momentarily. The shot, easy pad save for Papalardo. The rebound goes to the corner. Rothwell gets his stick lifted from behind. Coming away with the puck behind the net, that is Gloucester. Now Hitchcock controls. He takes a hit from Meany. And Hitchcock chips it on the boards for Roddy, who gets it into the offensive zone, but the only one there is Elijah Greenberg. Greenberg settling his team from behind the net, trying to look for a breakout pass, and he finds it in Hudson Wood. Hitchcock from the red line and in, and he'll go for a change. Pass from Gloucester, caught by Rothwell at the blue line. Roddy got back on sides. Roddy trying to kick it to his own stick through traffic. And now it's on the end boards. He's battling with Nochella, and Nochella wins the battle and gets it out. This is Rainier down the left side, throws it cross corner. One on three as Gloucester changes to Losa now. To Freire. Freire looking for an exit. Finds Papalardo, pass a little behind him, but Papalardo got it. Papalardo drops it off for Bo Oliveri, goes across the slot. Freire the shot, blocked nicely. That was Hawaii with the block. And now a two on one developing, one on one. Tolosa versus Rainier. Rainier, Tolosa with a nice defensive play. Tolosa got it to Freire, couldn't get it out. Shot from the point, saved and covered by Papalardo. He's made three saves on the three shots early. Up and down action here at the Rock to begin. Second line out there, Baljikov's gonna take the draw against Cole Edmonds. And Baljikov wins it cleanly to Tolosa. He tries to clear the zone, cannot. Left point, it was Greenberg who kept it in. At the right point, excuse me. Greenberg trying to force the issue. Comes all the way into the Swamp's got offensive zone. Chipped off the glass and out of play. Just about five minutes in. 0-0 zero, zero as no, neither team's had a great chance yet at the net. As we get settled, settled into this one. Gloucester wins the draw. Puck comes for Hitchcock.
Dumped into the offensive zone by Patrick, Timothy Patrick. Roddy now on a one-on-one -on -one break. Roddy trying to get around the defender, gets the backhand shot off just wide. Rothwell pinches in to keep it alive in the offensive zone, but good stick work there from Nick Nocella. Gets the clear, and Patrick dumps it in from the red line. Jason Rothwell in the corner is gonna go D to D to Hitchcock, who we know can use his wheels to create offense. Pass behind Roddy, he got a stick on it, which avoided the interception. Good defense by Hitchcock. Bartram now in the corner. Drops it for Rothwell, who takes a hit to make a play to Bartram. Bartram to Frary, Bartram goes for a change. Frary to Hitchcock on the left side, goes all the way in deep. Now we'll pull it back out for Frary. Frary at the Salem State Viking in the offensive zone, can't get it any further than that. Frary tape to tape to Oliveri, who takes it over center ice. Two guys converge on him and they take the puck away. Puck's gonna slide all the way in behind Papalardo where Greg Balgenkoff is first to it. Frary had his stick chopped at from behind by Quinn Brady. But now Frary controls it past behind Balgenkoff. And now Gloucester controls. They get it to Meany with a good shot from the right point save made by Papalardo. Long rebound comes all the way to the right boards. And now here comes Balgenkoff. Up the left side. Nothing doing there. As the third line gonna get an early shift. They didn't get in until the second period yesterday, or last game. As that's Cameron Gold battling for it. Kept in at the blue line by Ben Tolosa. Pass intercepted by Papalardo nicely. And Swamp's got offsides and a big hit after the whistle on Joey Pilot who had his head down. Ryan Meany came in and hit Pilot hard. Swamp's got bench lobbying for a penalty. They're not gonna get it. And never mind, they are gonna get a penalty. It's gonna be two minutes for Ryan Meany, the first line center. We'll get two minutes for roughing after the play. Don't want to see that if you're a Rockport fan, if you're a Swampscott fan, they have their first power play. That is good, Dawson. Unlike last game, the first opening season for Swampscott, there was, Swampscott had three penalties on them in a matter of the game. But now, finally, the rules have changed for Swampscott as, as Rockport gets their first penalty. Swampscott goes on the man advantage and they set it up. Bartram stick got sent like 20 feet in the air. But it comes to Papalardo at the point. Papalardo shoots it, looking for a tip, loose in front. Oh, what a save. Rebound, Bartram, another save, and we have a whistle as the net came off. Two huge saves by Luke Holmes. Keeps this game scoreless. Roddy had the first, or Bartram had the, sorry, Fea had the first chance at it, and then Bartram turned and fired both off the right pad of Luke Holmes, who did not, is the only one of their three goalies to not play in their season opener. But he got the start today. Fail wins the draw, clean lead of Bartram. Papalardo looking for a seam, finds Bartram down low now for Derek Fea. Jackson Bartram to Frankie Papalardo to Quinn Hitchcock. They reverse sides, Hitchcock goes back to Papalardo. Trying to look for Roddy at the bumper. Roddy diving to try to keep it alive. Could not, and it's cleared out of the zone by Gloucester. Hitchcock's gonna find Papalardo, who's gonna dump it back for Hitchcock to restart the rush. One minute to go in the power play. Two shots on it so far. Hitchcock takes it to the blue line and goes D to D with Papalardo, who's gonna go deep into the zone. Papalardo tries to reverse now. And it got flipped away from him, but Roddy first to the puck. Roddy now gonna slow it down and reset. Fea at the point, back to Roddy as they play catch. Fea, hard slap pass to Papalardo, who's still down deep. The other defenseman, Hitchcock, down deep, circles the wagon now. And will take it all the way to the point. Still 30 seconds to go on the power play. Papalardo. 
Karate trying to get a shot off. It got blocked and cleared out of the zone. Hitchcock has it at center ice. Waits for everyone to tag up and now finds Roddy. Last rush of the power play. Roddy gets it taken away. Battle along the boards. It comes to Popolardo. Five seconds to go on the power play. Hitchcock fanned on the slap shot as he fouled it off. And it's cleared down the ice. And Meany is out of the box. Two shots on the Swampscott penalty. Swampscott power play. No goals. Now Popolardo finds Hitchcock. Those two have been out there the whole power play. Hitchcock got it taken away. Now a two on one rush, a shoulder saved by Papalardo and it pops up behind the net. A good save there. Now the pass thrown through the slot. It came to the right point. Fanning on the shot was Matt Diorio. And Bo Oliveri controls it. Dangerous pass, almost had it stolen in the slot by Grayson Munich, but a nice move by Freire. Finds Baljankov on the odd man rush to Freire. Just through the skates. Freire couldn't control it. Now here comes Gloucester on the counterattack. Rainier harassed by Freire from behind. Now Rainier has it back in the corner. Through the zone. Rainier behind the net, throws it to the slot. The only man there is Jason Rothwell. Rothwell out there with Ben Tolosa right now. Hook gets sent back in where Tolosa collects it. He goes D to D with Rothwell, who reverses back. Bartram in a race with Meany to the puck. Meany was first there, and he gets it back in deep. Roddy to Rothwell. He's going to join the rush here and take it up the left side. He's got Bartram to his right. Rothwell throws it to the slot. Bartram, the backhand attempt saved. Rebound thrown into the slot. Faye of the shot just goes wide. Rothwell now at the right point, trying to get it in deep. Meany had a near steal and now slapped out of the zone. Delayed offsides and it's taken away. Quinn Brady dumped in deep. Tolosa chases it. It comes to the right point. Puck deflected off of the skate all the way in on Papalardo. Hitchcock with great defensive skate work against Meany in the corner, but the Big Blue cannot clear the zone. Puck flipped, stays in play. Free at center ice. Fea got his stick lifted by Rainier. Sorry, that's Greenberg. And Swamp's got changes. 3.20 to go in the first period, still scoreless. Pretty quiet period, a couple of chances for both sides. And that's gonna go all the way down for an icing. And the faceoff will come to the Rockport zone. Josh, what have you liked and what have you not liked for the Big Blue so far? Honestly, what I like to see is a great passing by both teams, especially Swamp Scott. Mo especially on that power play, multiple chances on goal, but denied, sadly. But other than that, it's been going pretty smooth. Just gotta, gotta get more in contact with communication throughout the ice and definitely having control of the puck. Third line out there once again, their second shift of the first period. It's Pilot, Zolads, and Gold out there with Papalardo and Hitchcock, the new deep pair. Those lines shuffled up a little bit after the power play. 2.54 to go in the period. Thrown in front. Papalardo got a stick on it. Sent it to the corner. Pilot gets hit hard into the boards. Now puck passed in front. Loose. Papalardo slaps it to the end boards and Hitchcock controls it for the big blue. And he's just gonna clear the zone, not out yet. Kept in, into the slot, the shot saved by Papalardo. Swamp's got long time in their own zone. Zola's got hit hard in the middle of the ice. Hitchcock played with a high stick and the whistle blows. A little bit of a rocky shift there for the third line, got pinned in their own zone. But their shifts are, ne are a necessity as, you could tell at the end of the Beverly game, they started to look gassed, the top two lines. Yes, they have, Dawson. Fayo wins the draw. Rothwell pass 
Went right to Gloucester, the save made by Papa. Loose in front, and Fea with the stick lift. Took away the shot opportunity. His pass just a little too, so too hard for Will Roddy. Dawson, you can hear the coach of Swampscott get mad. And he was mad at something, not sure what. But here's Jason Rothwell skating the puck out of the zone himself. Pass too far for Bartram and Greenberg will collect it for Gloucester. He finds Renier in the middle of the ice. Pass in the slot, almost picked off by Fea. Rothwell has to wait for Bartram to tag up his pass off of the skate of Minich, and he has to retreat all the way back to his own zone. Saved by Poplar. Oh, two big saves. Saving Rothwell as he had a bad turnover, but Popolardo bailed him out. Two huge saves, he's been really good in this first period. 1-10 to go in the first period. Now the Big Blue just worried about getting it out of the zone. Made Popolardo stand on his head for a minute there. Blocked by Freire at the line and it gets out. One minute remaining in the period, one minute. Now Gloucester takes it up the ice once again. Shot saved by Popolardo, juicy rebound comes to the slot. First to the puck is Aiden Clark. Gloucester a lot, Rockport, excuse me, a lot of offensive zone time. And Roddy shoots it, and the backup goalie, Adrian Vander, makes a save, but he was standing on the bench. So 38 seconds to go in the first period. Swamp Scott and Rockport deadlocked at zero. We just had our first highlight of the game. Dominic Popolardo making two massive saves after an co almost costly turnover. Shot saved by Papalardo, popped in and out of his glove, and now Bo Oliveri clears the zone. Nice move by Papalardo on this feet. Pass got deflected and nearly stolen as Bo Oliveri working his way through the offensive zone. He keeps it free for momentarily. Balchinkovs takes it away from the, the Rockport defender. Five seconds in the period, they throw it in front. Comes to the point, Hitchcock couldn't get it cleanly and that's gonna end the first period. As even if Oliveri would have put that one in, it wouldn't have counted as it was after the buzzer. But after 15 minutes, nobody could break the ice and it stands 0-0 at the end of one.
welcome back into the Richard H. Rocket Arena for second period action. The Swamps got big blue and the Rockport Vikings still knotted up zero to zero as nobody could break the score in that first period. Both teams had some chances and we didn't have our first highlight until Dominic Popolardo kept this game tied with two timely, timely saves. Again, my name is Dawson Berry and I am joined by Josh Harriman high above ice level here at Salem State. Josh, what did you think of that first period? Dawson, it was definitely something to look at, something definitely very exciting, especially with the first 15 minutes. You have First, you have your first penalty for two minutes, and then you have both teams, two shot on goals unsuccessful, but great saving by our Swamp Scott goalie right at the end. Yeah, both Papalardo and Holmes made huge saves to keep this game tied in that first period. And hopefully, Dawson, we can get some points on the board this period. Absolutely. Both teams, again, looking for their first win. Swampscott tied their first game. Rockport losing their first game. Second period action is underway as Gloucester wins the faceoff, and Greenberg has it on the right point. Pass stolen by Roddy, but it got tangled in the skates of Feo, who gets it taken away, but Rothwell steps up and knocks the puck off of the stick of Hudson Wood. Roddy now taking it up, gets hip checked into the boards by Quinn Brady. Roddy still got the pass off, off of the stick of Bartram. It comes to the point for Hitchcock who can't keep it in. He gets knocked down as he got hit up high. And now we're gonna get a whistle and a penalty as Hitchcock was down. And he got an elbow up near the face area. We'll see, they stopped the whistle because, they blew the whistle because Hitchcock was down. We'll see if there's an additional call at the end of it. Dawson, that's definitely, definitely yeah, excuse it me, that is like definitely how, something you don't want to see. That, that was a very high hit. Hitchcock on the bench now with his helmet off. So it doesn't seem as if they're gonna give a penalty out. Coach Delisio does not seem very pleased with the official's explanation of that. And the faceoff's gonna come into the Swamps got defensive zone. Hitchcock seems to be okay over there on the bench. We'll see when he returns to the ice. But after the draw, Papalardo could not find Roddy on the bank pass. Their pass has been a little bit off, this line has at least. Fea, after the hit from Bartram, gets it into the zone. It gets popped around and finally it's slowed down by Fea who throws it back in deep where Nick Nocella first to it for Rockport. Battle along the boards. Puck comes free. Roddy couldn't get full control of it. It comes to the opposite corner for Papalardo. Bartram bank pass looking for Fea. He frees the puck. Roddy could not drag it to his forehand. Nochella's pass blocked by Bartram, but Nochella frees it for Clark. Clark up, oh, sorry, excuse me, that's Wood, up the left side. Papalardo takes the puck away. Pass from Roddy, too far off, it gets kept in at the line. Pass fired towards the slot, but Faye got a stick on it and finds Roddy. Will Roddy up the right side, just gonna slap it in and go for a change. Oliveri fresh off the bench in pursuit of it against Clark. Hottie now. Diagonal pass off the glass. Papalardo controls. And Tolosa's pass too hard for Papalardo. Oliveri left the puck behind him. Sloppy play here to start the second period by the Big Blue. And now with room, the short-sided shot Hits Papalardo in the post, and Papalardo covers. Sloppy play to start this period. Yeah, something that you definitely don't want to see, but knowing, knowing the Big Blue, they're definitely going to tighten it up by like 10 minutes left in the second.
Falchenkoff behind his own net. Banks the pass for Rothwell. Rothwell can't clear the zone. Something Swamp's got has str really struggled with. And a penalty gonna come up against Jason Rothwell, which will send the big blue on the penalty kill. Extra skater on the ice as Hugh Holmes got to the bench. Valchikov with the steal and Hitchcock with possession. But the big blue are gonna go on the penalty kill as Rothwell's gonna be called, I believe, with the hook. Defensive power play, power. Penalty Defensive power unit. play That's for Swamp Scott. Penalty kill unit is Faya at center, Papalardo, Hitchcock, and Roddy. And Faya gets kicked off the dot, and Roddy will have to take the face off against Meany. Roddy wins it to Papalardo, trying to clear the zone, can't get it all the way out, and Greenberg has it on the left point. Trying to set up their, the penalty was a trip, excuse me, not a hook. As, nice play, Roddy knocked it away, and Faya sends it all the way down the ice where Rockport will have to recover with Greenberg. Greenberg's gonna lead the rush. Pass out of the reach of Brady, and Hitchcock clears it all the way down where the Rockport power play will have to reset once again. Greenberg to Nochella. Drop back for drop back for Greenberg. And offsides. Not called. It was pretty blatant. Not called, but Faya clears his own anyway. Coach Delisti was getting a little fed up with these officials. As that was a blatant offside missed. Now here is Meany taking it up the right side with some speed. Meany. Holds the puck to his backhand, now puts on the brakes and circles the offensive zone. Meany looking for Greenberg, pass deflected off the stick of Faya. Greenberg throws it to space where there's a whistle. Whistle and... I have no idea what that whistle was for, I can't lie. But the faceoff's gonna come all the way out. Seems like an offside. So. I don't think it, it wouldn't have been offside, but I don't think at least, as Swampka wins the draw cleanly, but too cleanly as it came all the way behind the net and Hitchcock couldn't clear it all the way out. Babchikov gets a stick on the pass, Bartram steals it and flings it all the way down the ice. Good job on the kill so far. 20 seconds left in it as Hottie's gonna take it up the ice. The pass to Aiden Clark who leaves the puck behind him and they kept it on sides. No, they didn't. Oh, up sides and with eight seconds left on the power play, the faceoff comes outside the Rockport zone. Swampscott definitely doing a great job holding it off as, as they have to, have to kill the penalty for five more seconds and soon back to be even strength. Rothwell ready to get out of the box. The shot from the right goes high and wide. Penalty is over as Rothwell's out. Oliveri in for him. Pass that never got all the way to Valjankov and it got stolen away. Clark, the shot blocked by the stick of Tolosa and Papalardo. Thrown in front, Tolosa just deflects it towards the corner where Valjankov takes control. Valjankov gets poke checked. Tolosa finds Freire who makes a move to the inside to clear the zone and now snaps it away. We'll see if he can get to the puck to have an angle to shoot it. Freire throws it in front, Valjankov. Puck would not settle down for him. Freire now has it in the slot. It comes to the point for Tolosa, shoots it off of skates. Freire has it and he carried it in the zone. Wow, 
Valjinkov and Oliveri still in there. So not a lot of chances for either team in the first five and change in this second period. Still deadlocked at a 0-0 tie. Swamp's got not many chances at all in this game. Hitchcock has it, has to go around his own defenseman partner as Cameron, that's Jackson Bartram battling for it. Rothwell keep, goes to Anita, keep it in at the point, but Meany has it, passes it, but it's turned over right to Fea, to Roddy, the shot off of a stick and deflects all the way to the corner. Thought Fea may have had a look at a shot there, unselfishly passed it to Roddy, but Roddy couldn't get it on net. Rockport can't clear the zone, it comes to Bartram. Bartram trying to get it back to the point for Rothwell, throws it towards the slot, towards Roddy. And now it goes to the boards where Fea can't block the pass. Roddy and Hitchcock digging for it. And now Hottie, and now Wood has it. Fea goes hard into the glass to take him off the puck. Rothwell getting harassed by Wood. Fea gets knocked down to the ice. Now Rockport has control, goes D to D looking for a pass in front for Wood. Did not get there. Wood behind the net. Trying to circle it for Hottie, but it takes a funky bounce off of the boards. Bartram loses the handle at the line, thrown the shot, goes well wide for Meany. Well high, I should say. Now Hitchcock has it behind the net, and he, referee says, Patrick got a skate on it, so no icing. Hitchcock forced to stay on as Swamp's got in the midst of a change. And that's gonna go for an icing. 7.37 to go in the second period. No score here at the Rock. Zolads loses the draw in the offensive zone. Pass off of his own man. And deflected back into the defensive zone of Rockport. But now they get a clean entry. Puck to the right point, now down low, Papalardo. Puck stolen away from Papalardo. Thrown through the slot, a nice play by Zach Zolans to deflect the pass all the way to the offensive zone. And now, Hardy gets it into the middle. They stay on sides, shot by Brophy off of a stick and high. is gonna clear the zone himself. Pilot along the boards, trying to find the puck. Zolads clears it back out of the zone, but it's taken by Gloucester and they get right back in with Sperry, who just gets it as far as he can and goes for a change. Papalardo takes it to the red line and flips it in, and the Big Blue go for a change. Bo Oliveri dumps it back for Hitchcock. Quinn Hitchcock through the skates of Freire, but out of the zone where Greenberg collects in the neutral zone. Nocella, long diagonal, too far, and it'll be an icing. He was looking for Edmonds. Hitchcock first to it, and the faceoff will come to the offensive zone. 5.52 to go in the second period, still deadlocked, 0-0. Not many chances for the Big Blue or Rockport in this one. Yeah, but I basically butt off, but the, uh, the offsides and icing uh, against Rockport is definitely helping Swamp Scott get a higher chance than Rockport in scoring. Nochella takes the puck away after the faceoff. Hitchcock, it got tangled in his skates, but he freed it to the boards, where he goes across the ice for Balchenkov. At the dot, the shot goes high and wide. And Gloucester gets an easy clear. Hitchcock, a nice defensive play, pinching near the blue line. 
Nocella finds a man in the middle of the ice. Nice hit there. And all the way behind the net it goes. Nocella picks it up. Pass too far. Rothwell keeps it in at the point. Bartram in pursuit of it with Greenberg, who reverses and passes it back to Nocella. Now, Rainier could not take control of it. Now Rothwell with his solo rush, trying to get a shot off, could not. Roddy steals it away, try to dump it back in deep, but the only man there is Greenberg. Rockport clears, Popolardo there though, in the neutral zone, makes a nice move around one and it gets to Fea. Fea with room to skate, takes it up the middle, takes the shot, flipped in, and saved by Holmes. And they'll get a face off. A great shot on goal by Swam Scott, but still a little bit unsuccessful. Dawson, what are you hoping to see here in the next quarter and, uh, and four minutes? I am looking minutes. for the Big Blue to just get pucks to the net. They've had a couple of chances to get a shot off, and they've been a little too unselfish. That puck stayed in the zone in the corner from Tolosa. Now Gloucester takes it away and they have a clear. Brady working the left side against Tolosa, throws it in front through the skates of Wood. In front, Meany, nice stick by Tolosa, but it came right back to Rockport. Roddy can't clear and it came all the way on net where Pablo has to stick it to the corner. Meany working with against Fea and Tolosa. Brady takes it away. Brady goes right to the net, throws it in, and they score! Quinn Brady gives Rockport the one to nothing lead with 3.44 to go in the second period as the Big Blue sloppy play continues. And it's one to nothing Rockport. Meany wins the draw against Belgenkoff. Now Meany taking it right back up the ice, looking for more. Meany takes it behind the net, holding it on his backhand. Hitchcock intercepts the pass through the middle. Hitchcock taps it for Bo Oliveri. Pass behind Hitchcock and off his skate. Dumped in deep where Freire's gonna be first to it. Freire trying to take it behind the net just a little bit too far for himself. And it gets taken away and cleared. Roddy throws it cross corner. Big Blue spending a lot more time in their own zone as they have in their offensive zone as it gets taken away behind the net, thrown in front. Big save by Pavelardo to keep this game at one nothing. He's done all he can. The Big Blue have not really helped him out today. Swamp's got forced to ice the puck. No, it apparently went off the stick of Rockport. Valdrikov came flying in, attempting to steal that pass. He couldn't get possession. But Rothwell alone, there's four Rockport players in the zone. But he clears it all the way to Roddy. Roddy has Faye in the middle of the ice, but he couldn't control it. Papalardo to Derek Faye. Faye makes a move around one and has to just throw it into the zone where nobody is except for Rockport. That was a blatant interference. Finally, they get the call. That took forever for them to make that call. I saw that happen, I'm like, where's the ref? Where's the yeah. whistle? The, that took him way too long. He was staring right at it. Uh, Rockport took it all the way down the ice before he finally raised his hand. And with 2.01 remaining in the second period, the Big Blue will go on the power play. And honestly, if they don't score, they at least need to get their momentum back because they have really struggled in the second period.
Faye is gonna take the draw against Hudson Wood. He wins it cleanly to Bartram, to Papalardo, to Hitchcock. Hitchcock to Faya, back to Hitchcock, to Faya. They play catch. Faya's gonna go down low for Roddy. Couldn't get it cleanly on his stick as it may have popped over it. Bartram comes in and aids Roddy. Papalardo goes D to D with Hitchcock. Hitchcock for Faya. Thrown into the bumper, Roddy to Bartram, saved by Holmes. Hitchcock keeps it in at the point. Goes D to D with Papalardo, back to Hitchcock, back to Papalardo. Hitchcock is gonna slap one, it gets deflected over the net. Faya couldn't get anything on that pass, but it came to Hitchcock. Faya, nobody's beneath, and he loses it right to Rockport. Hitchcock with 103 remaining in both the period and the penalty. One minute remaining in the period, one minute. Roddy will take it up himself up the right side. Gets hit hard into the boards. He goes head first into them. Seems to be all right. Luckily, that was a scary looking hit. A very heavy hit. Roddy has to reset to Faya, who gets it to Bartram who just throws it in where uh, Rockport is back. Bartram, 30 seconds to go. Hitchcock, down low, Bartram couldn't cleanly get it on his stick. It gets whacked back to the end boards. They reset it back to the point for Papalardo, 20 seconds to go in the period and the penalty. Roddy, it's shaped over his stick to Bartram. In front for Faya, the shot tipped wide. 12 seconds to go and they clear it. Yeah, they, oh, diving effort by Hitchcock, keeps it in. But now an on-man rush on the kill. Five seconds to go, it's a breakaway. The shot saved by Papalardo. And where would the big blue be without Dominic Papalardo? And now some extracurricular after the period ends. But where would the big blue be? It could be three or four to nothing very easily. And that none bigger than that save there to keep the score one to nothing Rockport after 30 minutes after two periods.
Welcome back in to the Rocket, Richard H. Rocket Arena at Salem State, where your Swamp Scott Big Blue are trailing the Rockport Vikings one to nothing. As two disappointing periods have the Vikings up by one on the road against the Big Blue. Once again, from high above ice level, my name is Dawson DeBerry, and I'm joined by Josh Harriman. Uh, Josh, what are your thoughts on the first two periods? Honestly, the first the first period, don't get me wrong, we had definitely had some highlights of the game. But as soon as it slowly progressed down to the final minutes of the first period and into the second throughout, Swamp Scott has has been able to hold their uh, has been able to hold their team together, but has been slowly losing it since through the second as Rockport got their first goal last period, starting the game off, finally breaking the zero to zero. And as here we go into the first face off, Swamp Scott wins possession. Jackson Bartram taps it in, but it comes to Hudson Wood. Rothwell keeps it in, but it's right into the waiting. Never mind, it's kept in at the point by Bartram. Roddy kicks it past Greenberg, but Greenberg recovers it. Rothwell's gonna keep it in at the right point again. Throws it in front, Roddy looking for a tip. Puck pops high in the air. Hitchcock shovels it back in. But Greenberg there, he still can't clear the zone. And finally, it comes to Rockport and they take it away. Wood up, flying up the left side, throwing it in front. Meany got a stick on it, but it went well wide. Roddy can't tip it to himself and Rockport has it, taking it up the left. Rothwell hitting a man off the puck, but it squirts all the way down to where Aiden Clark will set things up for Rockport. His pass intercepted by Oliveri. Prairie couldn't tip it to himself through the man and now Greg Balchenkoff takes it up the right side and gets tripped hard into the boards and the big blue are gonna go on the power play. We'll see if Greg is okay. It was hot. Hawhey, I believe, was the one that's going to go to the box, and it will be. It's going to be two minutes on the power play for the Big Blue, their third of the day. We'll see if they can take advantage, and good to see Baljankov skating to the bench on his own. Could not have been the most pleasant fall. No, it did not seem as it from up here, but Swamp Scott gets one chance with two minutes as an uneven score forward. Five on four, excuse me. Fail wins it to Bartram to Hitchcock, to Pappalardo. Hitchcock goes to Fea, back to Hitchcock, back to Fea, they play catch. Now Hitchcock makes his move, back to Fea. Fea to the bumper for Roddy, couldn't get the shot off. Now Pappalardo down low, across for Roddy, comes to Fea, the shot, and he scores! Derek Fea, his third of the season, and the Big Blue tie it right up to start the third period as the power play goal knocks this thing at one. Derek Fea, two in the first game, one today. And that was from Roddy and Pappalardo. Roddy and Pappalardo pick up their first points of the season as Fea, his third goal. A great goal by Swamp Scott, bringing, the, bringing it back to tying game one to one with 317 left in the third as they go off to face off and Swamp Scott wins possession. So Derek Faya stays the only Swamp Scott big blue player to score this season. As he's right back at it, going on the boards with Nochella. Reverses the ice, but Roddy was not there. And no, him and Nochella go into the boards, no call. A lot of clean contact. Roddy gets off the ice as he lost his stick. Fea battling against Clark and uh, against Meany, and Meany wins the battle. Greenberg now clears the zone, and that is Brady. Throws it in deep where Popolardo's gonna have to retrieve it. He finds Baljankov, Greg Baljankov to Bo Oliveri, pass a little bit too hard, it stays onside as Hahi out of the box after the penalty, controls and passes to Clark. Meany tips it, but he was behind the red line, so it still goes for an icing. 
So 12-18 to go in the game. We are tied up one to one after the game tying goal by Derek Fea. Swampscott wins the draw back to Popolardo. His shot was stolen. He makes a nice move to get around a man, but it gets taken away from behind. And a good back check by Bauchinkoff. Bodies go everywhere, no call on either side. And now up the middle comes Rockport, and good stick work by Popolardo to avoid the shot attempt. Pelosa flips it out of play unintentionally. That was Tim Patrick who had the opportunity. Bouchenkoff wins the draw to Hitchcock. His pass stolen at the blue line by Hawhey. Hitchcock can't find a man up the middle, but Rockport's pass is going to come to Freire. Kept in at the line. No, says the offsides. official. Offsides. Offsides as Clark just passed the red blue line for an offsides. Austin at offsides gets Swampscott closer to Rockport's goal. Hopefully to break the one one nothing one to one tie here in the third. Roddy. Fea trying to dump it in deep, could not. Pass is gonna be stolen by Bartram, but he's gotta wait for Fea to get on sides, and that's what negated that rush. And now a break for Rockport. Poke checked away by Hitchcock nicely, but the pass turned over. Nocella as well as Bartram just had to do a moment ago. Had to wait for his teammates to tag up. Rockport let the puck come through, and Roddy with some nice work on the boards to get it out. Greenberg behind his own net, trying to set up the breakout. Pass finds Rainier. Rainier takes the shot, goes wide. Fail along the boards, back pass for Rothwell. Trying to find Bartram, and Bartram sealed off his demand nicely to get it to Hitchcock. Hitchcock, a shot, goes well wide. Fea keeps it in at the point and takes a hit to do it. Roddy trying to drag it to his forehand, could not, and now Rainier against Papalardo. Hitchcock gets back into the play. Rockport now offsides, and there it is. Oh, and he just shoots it at so, at our guy. He's, I don't know He's what that was for. He's not happy about that. Are they going to send him to the box for that? We'll see. I don't and think so, Dawson. And they are. Oh. They're going to send him to the box for I, unsportsmanlike conduct, I'd assume, would be the call. Most likely because it went straight a, into one of the Swamp Scouts players. That's an utterly dumb penalty right very there. Very dumb. He, sometimes. So it's just a, it was a harmless offside, and he just slapped it right at Derek Fea. Yeah, you you got to keep you got to keep your composure together, especially on any type of field, on any sport that you play. Because no matter what, if you let your anger out right then and there, it's going to affect you and your team. Kept in nicely off the skate of Popolardo to start the power play. Roddy at the dot. Now goes down low. Roddy, drop pass, looking for Fea just a little bit behind him into the skates. Rockport penalty assist number five, Ben Hunter. Line, yep, unspun sportsman like conduct into the slot, Roddy! It hit the post and stayed out. Roddy, now on the left wing, gets it to Tolosa for Papalardo. Papalardo looking for Roddy, stolen away nicely by Wood. He's going to get it to Meany. Papalardo with a nice play to avoid a short handed rush. Tolosa. You can hear Bartram expressing his frustration after he couldn't <laughs> handle that pass cleanly. We apologize if you could hear the contents of what he said, but that was pretty funny from up here. Roddy gets knocked down, trying to move the puck down low. He kind of pushes it to his stick from with his hand, and Gloucester will get a free clear all the way in on Dom Papalardo with 50 seconds left to go in the penalty. Rockport trying to survive the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty from Ben Rainier. Oh. 
Pappalardo couldn't get it around Brady, but Hitchcock right there, right to Freire. Freire taking it up the right side. Freire drops it for Balgenkopf behind him, and Wood now trying to take it on a counterattack with Brady. Hudson Wood goes around Hitchcock, gets to the net, and Pappalardo with the nice poke check to keep it, keep him from getting a shot away. And he went hard into the net and took it off its moorings. 20 seconds to go on the Rainier penalty. And the faceoff will be in the Swampscott defensive zone as Wood with a nice solo rush to at least draw the faceoff. Officials confer to see if there will be anything extra after that. Nope. It'll just be a faceoff with Baljikov taking it against Wood. 20 seconds to go in the power play. It's going to be Jason Rothwell starting the rush. Bo Oliveri trying to find Baljinkoff who gets it tangled in his skates. Kicks it ahead for Freire. Now Freire on the rush takes a shot. Save made by Holmes. Rothwell with the penalty expiring. Takes a slap shot. Holmes never saw it. It went high. The penalty is now over. Five on five even strength. Hitchcock, the shot from the point, loose in front! Oliveri could tap it in, Holmes got a stick on it! Oliveri tried to go short side, and what a save it was by Luke Holmes to keep this game tied. Now on the counterattack, Meany has it in the corner, gets hit by Rothwell, the puck freed for Baljankov. Greg Baljankov gliding with his backhand. Greg Baljankov to the dot. Now we'll take it down low against Nochella. Ryan Freire had it taken away from him. Race for the puck. Brady's going to get there first. Brady now in on a breakaway. The shot saved by Papalardo, but there's a penalty. I believe there's going to be a penalty as Frankie Papalardo got him from behind. The net came off. I, I mean, I d we'll see if there was a penalty. There was some contact between Brady and Papalardo. It doesn't seem to be the initial notion. So maybe the Big Blue avoided that one. Most of the time they call a penalty there, but none. The faceoff comes out of the zone. 7.22 to go in this one. With the Big Blue and the Rockport Vikings knotted up at one. Tolosa retrieves the loose puck in the corner. He goes D to D with Papalardo, who goes D to D with Tolosa. Tolosa fans on his passing attempt, now kind of panicking with it in the corner. Faya had to come and help him out and dig it out of the skates. Papalardo trying to hit Roddy in the middle of the ice. Oh, he was there to hit him off the puck. DeOrio now. Pass through Hawhi oh, and comes to center ice for Tolosa. Roddy now takes it up the left side, looking for a play, finds Bartram. The shot blocked in front, puck loose through the slot. As the shot by Fea just turned and fired. Roddy in there trying to get it, and it is covered by Holmes. The Big Blue will change lines, 6.31 to go now. Good shift from the first line there. Swamps are definitely picking up their pace they have. and a lot picking up their mess after the second period, Dawson. Greg Brodjikov taking the draw. Glo uh, again, I almost said Gloucester. I apologize <laughs> if I've said that a couple times. It's just fresh on my mind. Same color jerseys, and we had them last night for boys' basketball action. But back to the ice as Brodjikov working in the corner against Clark. Now, here is Cole Edmonds. Hitchcock to Rothwell. Thrown back behind the net where Hitchcock has to retrieve it. Makes a nice move and gets the puck to Baljikov. Four on two developing for the big blue. Baljikov's going to take it into the corner. Now Freire has it behind the net. Ryan Freire working. Gets it back to the point. Hitchcock has a lane to shoot it. The shot. Save made by Holmes and take the rebound taken and cleared by Rockport all the way down the ice. Papalardo trying to avoid touching it for the icing, and he will. So with 5.35 to go in the game, it's still one to one in the Big Blue. We'll have an offensive zone face off with the first line out there.
Feo wins the draw cleanly. Hitchcock trying to keep it in at his point, and it gets taken away in a three-on-one now. Rothwell, the only one back. Meany takes it, takes the shot, and it goes wide. Swamp's got to dodge a bullet there. Pass stolen by Feo, who backhands it for Bartram, who just left the puck. Wood, now the shot goes wide. Rothwell bats it to the backboards. Taken away by Brady. Brady has the goal in the game for Rockport. Battling against Rothwell, and he bowls over Derek Fea and gets the puck back down deep where Hitchcock is going to be the first to it. Hitchcock flips it up. Roddy backhands it in deep. Pass for Meany, taken away by Roddy in the slot. Fea the shot just wide on the one-timer. Pass to Fea, Roddy winded up for the one-timer and he's got a stick lifted. Bartram got hit into the glass and his helmet came off. Talking to the official trying to lobby for a call. But the whistle blows with 4.32 to go and we'll get another change. Seems like every minute now or so there's gonna be a penalty, uh, not a penalty, a whistle and a change for the Big Blue. Referees are gonna uh, meet and see if they saw a penalty on Rockport. I don't believe they're gonna make a move. And Greg Baljikoff will take the draw. I think the Swamp's got bench wants an explanation and they'll get one. Four thirty-two to go in the game. Draw gets tangled up, and Frary comes out of the pack with it, and he backhands it in deep, where Nocello going to be the first to it. Nocello clears the zone as Tolosa couldn't keep it in on the right point, and he gets it back in deep, but the big blue forced to tagged up, tag up. Nocello stolen by Baljankov at the point. He lost his stick though, and now here comes Rockport up the left side. It's Aiden Clark against Tolosa, good job by Tolosa, hit him off the puck. Now a battle along the boards, Baljankov and Tolosa battling, as now a shot saved by Pompolardo. His big night continues, or afternoon I should say. 3.52 to go in the game, Swamp's got in Rockport, knotted up one to one in what has been, turned out to be a great afternoon of hockey at the Richard H. Rocket Arena. Papalotto definitely not getting breaks anytime soon as almost every single time Rockport brings it down in the Swamp Scott defensive end, he has to go and save it for his team. Bartram getting tangled up. He makes the steal though. Finds Roddy in front of the net, the backhand. Oh, a save by Holmes. He shut off the backhand. Rothwell calling for wanting a penalty on Rothwell, nothing given. Thought the hit was late, the officials disagree. Greenberg, D to D with Nocella. Stolen by Hitchcock. Fea having some trouble with it. Brady dives for it, but Fea got it to Rothwell. Rothwell passed too high for Roddy who stuck his glove up trying to make a catch, but couldn't do it. Puck gets thrown in deep, the race for it. Will be won by Jackson Bartram trying to shovel it out of the zone, but it comes to Rothwell. Rothwell, the long pass for Roddy, connects. Roddy with Fea on his right. Roddy circles to the dot, throw, looking for the pass in front for Jackson Bartram, and it got tangled up in the skates of Qu Quinn Brady. Good job pinching in by Papalardo to Fea. Back to Papalardo. Papalardo back in in front. Roddy trying to tuck it in the short side, and Holmes shuts the door. Both goaltenders having a good day here. Roddy's had a couple chances in this third period, but Holmes denied him both times. It's one to one, still 2.33 to go. They're gonna stay with the first line out there. Timeout, Swamp Scott as they'll like elect to talk it over with 2.33 to go. Timeout, Swamp Scott. 
It is definitely, Dawson has definitely been a very intense period so far. Chances for both teams to take the lead. Out of the timeout, Fail wins the draw to Bartram. Bartram down low for Fea, trying to get the puck free somehow for Roddy, who gets it back to the point for Papalardo. Nobody home for the Big Blue as Clark steals it away. Now a two-on-one developing, possibly. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one save made by Papalardo, and he covers up with 2.12 to go. Meany freed the puck, but Roddy now has a slight break. Roddy with Bartram trailing, throws it across. Bartram couldn't get anything on the shot. And Gloucester will clear it away. It'll go no icing as they, they say Papalardo had a chance to play the puck and did not. Drops it for Hitchcock. Quinn Hitchcock flings it off high off the glass. Rockport gets it by Bartram. Hitchcock with some good work on Wood. Pass stolen by Freire. Freire flings it in. Bartram in pursuit. This line's been out there a long time. Bartram gets the puck to Hitchcock. Now Rockport has it as Brady steals it. Now Meany. Meany going up the middle. Meany blocked by Papalardo with the stick. Papalardo 113 to go. Could we possibly have our second overtime game of the year in two games? 107 to go in it. Papalardo can't get the pass all the way to Oliveri, but Oliveri decides to go and ice the puck. Then we'll get a switch of the D pair. And we have a timeout Rockport.
out of the timeout. It will be a face-off in the Gloucester attacking zone. The timeout allows the Big Blue to get fresh, the first line fresh, with 58.2 to go in regulation. Game tied at one. Face-off won cleanly by Fay in the defensive zone. He can't bat it out of the zone, though. Now taking it, Nochella throwing it in front. Papuardo covers it up with 48.8 to go. Fayo wins another defensive zone draw. Hitchcock can't get it out through. Well, it is now Bartram's down hard after he took an elbow from Brady. And he's a little shaken up. As we have a whistle. He took a big hit. He's going to have to come off. And Frary will come on for him. And Bartram does not seem happy about that. Yeah, he came off the ice very frustrated, got hit super hard on that. Faya, another clutch face-off win. Now they send Roddy on the fly pattern, has a slight break. Roddy's going to take a shot. Save by Holmes. That was a very well, I believe that's a design play off the face-off. Faya won it right to Hitchcock, who sent Roddy on the fly pattern. It's a play the Bruins run very frequently, especially in overtime. Coach Fay had taken that one. As Derek wins, ties up the face off. Roddy came right into the dot, but he couldn't get a shot off. Now Meany trying to st start a Gloucester rush. Meany throws it towards the slot, taken away by Fea, but he couldn't get it all the way out. Shot deflected. Papalardo, 15 seconds to go in regulation. Meany throws it in front, it's loose. Puck still loose, and it goes wide. Hitchcock, six seconds is gonna just take it across the net and just pin it against the boards. And it looks like for the second time in two games, the Swamp Scott Big Blue will head to overtime here at the Richard H. Rocket Arena, where they will play five minutes of four on four against the Rockport Vikings. And we are almost set to begin overtime where the Big Blue will send out Roddy, Fea, Hitchcock, and Rothwell. And Glosser will send out Wood, Meany, Greenberg, and Nochella. So five more minutes of hockey tonight. Puck gets tangled up on the draw, and Roddy wins possession to Rothwell. Hitchcock now, it's back to Rothwell. More open space in the four on four. Hitchcock catches the pass nicely, that was a little bit behind him. He's gonna enter the zone himself. Now surveys his options, goes back to the point for Fea. Fea on the point, into the skates of Hitchcock. Hitchcock back to Fea, is gonna rip a shot from the point well wide. And Nochella taps it away from Rothwell. Trying to summon a two-on-one, and they will. Rockport's gonna get a two-on-one rush with Meany. Meany across, the shot off the post, and it stays out. The goalie's best friend keeps the game going, and Rothwell went hard into the net, trying to get back. 
what that is one in a million chances, Dawson. A two on one. Papalardo ought to just hug that post as he just saved the game for him. Rockport wins the draw. Greenberg on the right point. To Nochella on the left. Nochella shoots and deflected out of play. Not even a minute into the overtime, 4.07 left in it, and Gloucester beat Papalardo. I keep saying, I said Gloucester again, I caught myself. <laughs> Rockport beat Papalardo, but it stayed out. Shot from the point blocked, but it squirted in free where Wood was alone, but the stick lift of Roddy kept him from getting a shot off. Roddy. Now we'll keep possession for the big blue. And finds Hitchcock who drops it back for Rothwell. Jason Rothwell goes to Derek Faya. Faya to Jason Rothwell, back to Faya, but a bad pass, a little bit of a lazy pass. Greenberg's gonna take it out with some speed. Elijah Greenberg gets stapled into the boards by Rothwell. And now Hitchcock has it and will reset. Hitchcock to Roddy. Roddy takes it up the right side. Roddy drops it for Faya. Faya, pass behind Roddy. Those team to a little bit out of sync today. Faya falls down. Nochella the self pass. They stay on side, it's a three on one. Nochella across, the shot, still loose in front. Never got to Papalardo. Now Frankie Papalardo has it. Looking ahead for Freire. Rockport's defender fell down and Freire takes control. Freire to Papalardo, Papalardo. Taking it down low himself, going to get it back to the point for Tolosa. Tolosa trying to get it back for Frankie Papalardo. He rips it away. No, it gets taken away by Clark. Clark trying to counter. 2.39 to go in the game. Brady with a nice move to get around Freire. He falls down. Freire taps it free for himself. He can't find it. It's at his feet. He gets it to Balgenkoff. Balgenkoff takes it in on the right side. Lost the handle of it, and now race for the puck. Tolosa dives to make a play, but Balgenkoff was offsides. Balgenkoff pokes it away. 2.20 to go in the game. Now, he has a lot of room. Takes it up the left side, goes down low, wrapping. They tried to pass it in front, blocked by Papalardo, but they have control at the point. This is Dorio. Back to Hoggy. The shot, the wrister gloved by Papalardo with 2.03 remaining in the game. Dawson is getting very intense, especially in overtime. Rockport with the more superior chances, I would say. They have the one off the post, and then that one right into the arms of Papalardo. It would sting for Swampscott to start with two home games and end with two ties. So they're trying to get, to force the issue to score here, to get themselves into the win column. Roddy. Across ice, Faya can't handle the pass. To Oreo, gets his stick lifted by Faya nicely. Pass right to Rockport, and now here comes Hahi up the right side. Hahi, Faya in pursuit, knocks it away nicely. He's got Roddy down, down the ice. If he can find him, Roddy has the game on his stick. Scores! Wayne Roddy wins the game in overtime, and the Big Blue are into the win column. Finally, Dawson, after one game of tying on their opener against Beverly, Swampscott takes the win against Rockport. Oh, what exciting hockey as Roddy wins it for the Big Blue. What a game from the Rock. Wow. And now as the excitement kind of dies down, the player Ooh. of the game outside of the winning goal scorer, Will Roddy, oh. Dominic Papalardo. One goal allowed. What a game by the sophomore goalie and the big blue are gonna walk out of here with a win. Papalado definitely just great playing from definitely definitely the players, but most likely the goalie Frank Papalado. It's just magnificent how he can save multiple shot on goals. Only let one go by, but Swampside still comes out on top two to one in overtime. And the big blue. And that's gonna do it from us at Swampscott Big Blue Athletics. And for me, Dawson and Barry, my partner Josh Harriman, and all of us at Swamp Scott Big Blue Athletics, we thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.